In today's video, we take a look at a man who refuses to pay on the first date and leaves, and this woman who explains how she is manipulating men for her own gains. A bit more tips on how I manipulate men. And I told you girls, when you first meet a guy, listen to everything they're saying because you can use their strength and their weaknesses against them. So for example, if they're a businessman and they're constantly bragging about how good they are, their businesses are going, you can say, Babe, I know that you're struggling a little bit and I'm not too sure if you can help me out, but A, B, and C, D, this is what I need. They are going to be triggered. B. They're going to be like, wait, what do you mean, babe? I can help you out. I'm not struggling financially. Like, what are you talking about? You are triggering emotion out of them to get something you want. Do you see where I'm coming? And you girls are like so scared. Y'all just have to be bold for this and make it sound very innocent. You do not want to offend him. We can do this with their baby voices. If he's a doctor, you can use um, his strengths against him. Like he's super smart. You can say, babe, I know you're just a doctor, but I know you're just a doctor, but do you know anything about this? He's gonna be like, yeah, just cause I'm a doctor doesn't know, doesn't mean I don't know. He will give you full on details on everything. He'll probably even do research to tell you about this topic. Like use these guys' strength or advantage to get what you want out of them. For example, if he used to say he used to have a really abusive dad, you can call him later on in the relationship. This is all fake. You can make up a fake ass story and be like, baby, I just got off the phone with my dad and he was yelling at me and he told me like he's not paying my car insurance. And then women are very fast to claim that men are the problems when it comes to dating, which as we just heard could not be further from the truth. Yeah, there are some bad men out there, but if you compare it to the number of women who do the things this woman is suggesting and then get away with it is staggering, and some women, including her and her, can even make themselves look like the victim in such situations. Hey guys, this is my profile on BLK. Um, as you can see, it says my name, my age, everything. That's my first picture. I said something casual. So yeah, I'm going scrolling down. See, it says my description. I said, I'm a chubby black girl. I'm a simple anime, horror movies, old R&B tracks. Let me be in charge of the aux cord. And I also said, if you live with your mom, baby moms or moms, please have your own place. I don't think that's so much to ask, you know? And I'm not judgy, but it's a no for me. And please no d pics. Don't like that. Okay. And my, I love this late. question. <laughs> my best excuse for being late is... I'm never late. And I added a little giggle at the end to be like, you know, really cute and stuff. And yeah, that was my second picture, guys. I said I'm looking for a best friend. My other picture, I'm easy to talk to. And then non-sexual turn-ons is when a man drives. And yeah, and I put here what I like. And I know I said I smoke and drink. I don't smoke and drink at all. I literally don't. I just put it to sound cool. Remember her face because it would come in handy when we see what happens on her date. Guys, I just finished my date and I am so embarrassed. I'm not gonna cry in here. I'm not gonna cry. I'm sorry, guys. I just had to um, clean myself up a little bit. He came. He came and. So the whole thing is we went to this restaurant he wanted to go to and it was a little too expensive but I, I don't know, I asked my sister for money. So we went. I had this like I had this dress on and I changed because I just I had this dress on and everything. And I had my hair out. Like you know guys I cut it, but it wasn't like this. I had it parted a little bit. And so I went in and he was like looking around like oh like he was looking for somebody else. And I was like, Okay, I'm like, Hey, I'm Tia and then he was like Tia. I'm like, yeah, it's for me from BLK. And then we, he was like looking confused and he told me to sit down. So I sat down. I smiled and he didn't smile back at me. And then he was like, I don't look like my pictures. I do look like my pictures. I don't Photoshop anything. I tell everything how it is. I, I'm going to insert out of the end of the video the picture I put in. And he was like, you know, just being so quiet through the meal and all that. He didn't even want to pay. I said, hey, I didn't bring my money with me. And then he eventually paid. And then now he cashed. He, he sent me a request to pay for the food. And that's not. I just don't understand. Why are men like this? Men are evil. First things first. 
Why did you not carry any money when you know you are going out to eat and you could be asked to pay for your share? And second thing is you don't exactly look like your pictures or even resemble to them. So any guy would feel that he has been catfished and you can't call a man evil just because he does not want to pay for you. You can only call someone evil when you catch them doing something like this. You can get out and you can get- I'm not getting out of my own- No house, I pay the bills around here. Are you playing game on me? I'm not- listen, You playing I mean, game stop, on me? Uh, you're making hey, me yo, nervous. Hey, yo, no, no, Jason. You, you, you can stop talking right there. Jason, please. You can stop talking right there. Look, at the end of the day- You my boy. You my boy and you did me like this? Bro, I came here to grab my- Jason, Why you just your clothes? Why you putting your clothes on, man? What Jason, you putting your clothes on for? Making me nervous. I want you making to calm me nervous. Down. Calm down. You won the game on me. Please, please calm down and just let us explain. My boy. You don't trust your girl, you, I don't trust none of y'all. You my boy. We've been in. So you don't know you know how much y'all been together and you gonna do me like that, Jason? Bro, you ain't got nothing to say right now. That's gonna fix anything. I'm done with you, and I'm done with you. Man, we go back like four flats in the cabin. So why you doing me like that, my boy? I've known you since high school. This my girl, and you gonna do me like that? You gonna do me like that? Baby, this my boy. Baby, listen, I didn't even do, we didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. I can't believe it now. I can't believe this right now. We didn't do anything. Did anything? Did what we here then? This is what I'm saying. You my house. You come to my house unannounced. What you doing up here with my girl? I came here. Remember, we just playing the game. And you fixing your clothes. And you fixing your clothes now, bro. Your clothes now, bro. The bathroom all over there. What you What you mean? That's your wife. Can I use the bathroom, bro? You a piece and you a piece of what here then? What you come up here for without me? I told you I forgot something, bro. Last what you time forget? You playing the game. What you What you forget? What you forget? Tell me. Exactly. You're a piece of. Jason, I want you to just calm down. Let's all talk. Calm down? Yes, boy. Whoa. 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 And you lying in my face about it. Brian, did we do anything? Can you please tell Jason to just relax? So you don't trust your girl? Don't you trust don't trust me more, boy? Your boy? word means nothing. You knew me before. Your word means nothing. Let's just tell him the truth. I'm saying there ain't no truth to tell him. Stop playing with me. I already know what's going on. Tell him the truth about what's oh going on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, I just don't think that this is coming in. Jason, I don't want you to have the bank. Get there. Alright, look, Dave, look. Get there. <laughs> As I said, there are some bad men out there and there are a lot of women who betray their partners and break their healthy marriages just for some thrill or to just chill. And there are only so many instances in which you can use the term evil and this is definitely one of them. Currently I don't date and it's purely for the reason that I am exhausted. I'm constantly exhausted by seeming to attract the wrong type of people. The people that have no interest or fulfillment in my life. And like my ideal date, like, yeah, I love the bougie type of shit, but I've actually gotten to a stage of maturity where it doesn't need to be that. And all I actually crave in this fucking life is consistency. Consistency, respect, truthfulness. And that's fucking it. I don't know why it's so hard to come across. And I am really considering moving countries because I just do not feel like Australia can offer me that type of person. I need someone that's like more in tune. I just have to believe that it's all in the right timing. The right person will come to me and I will not have to fucking work.